doing a review on the new Lorac Ultra Ego Heartbreaker Palette. I believe this is the new Summer 2015 collection. There's another one and it's called Dream Girl, I believe. And I didn't pick that one up because my Ulta did not carry it. At least it didn't when I went. But I did manage to pick up this one and I believe this one is $24 so it is really affordable and it has a lot of amazing shades so if you want to know my opinions and thoughts about this palette then stay tuned. Like I said before this palette retails for $24 at Ulta so when you open it it looks like this. It is such a beautiful bright pink color perfect for spring and summer and the packaging is really sleek so it is really smooth and it it can get a little bit dirty because this material tends to get dirty really easily but I really don't mind it when you open it it has a huge mirror and it just says the logo on the top and it, I love palettes that have mirrors because I usually don't carry mirrors with me, which I should. But yeah, and it just has this plastic thing to protect the shadows. And the shadows look like this. They are extremely gorgeous. It comes with 8 shadows and 2 highlighters. And the highlighters are pretty big and they're amazing. I love this palette for the fact that it has some neutral colors and some fun colors right here. So it is perfect for everybody. It has two matte shades which is this taupey brown color and this cream color, this cream highlight. And the rest are all shimmery. They're not extremely shimmery but they have a slight shimmer. But overall all these eyeshadows have a slight shimmer, some more than others. So now let's get on with the swatches. Fortunately, these don't have a name on the packaging or anywhere. So starting with the taupey color, this one is an extremely matte shade and it is gorgeous for a transitional color to the next one which is a light pink color. This has a slight shimmer but not that much and it is gorgeous if you just want to go more for a neutral look then it goes on a little bit darker which is this vibrant vibrant purple color it is extremely extremely pigmented and again it has a slight shimmer as well it works perfectly for a nice pop of color and it goes on to this chocolate brown color and this I have to say that it is my favorite shade out of the palette which is because I wear I like to wear more neutral smoky eyes I don't wear color too much but this palette really caught my attention and I love it so the chocolate brown again it has a slight shimmer the blue one is also one of my favorite ones because it is really vibrant and it really goes all out with the color. When you swatch it, it does give you that color effect as you see on the package. It is great. And then on to my second favorite one, which is this silver color. This one, oh my gosh, it is amazing. Love it, love it, love it so much. It is so vibrant and a little bit goes a long way, definitely. And then on to the teal color. It, again, it has a slight shimmer and it is perfect for a pop of color. And then the last one on this row is, I don't know how to explain it that well. It's more of a brown gold color, like a rusty brown. And this one is the most shimmery one. And it does get a little bit powdery. With this color, you can get fallout, so just use a light hand with it. Now on to the highlights. This one is the cream color. It is so pigmented as well. And this one is a matte shade as well. And then on to the other one, which is a vibrant white. It is nice for a highlight on the tear duct or the brow bone. But if you're not into 
shimmery brow bones or shimmery tear ducts you can definitely use the cream one which works just as well with the cream one you can use it for an all over base or something so that the colors could blend very well together so those were all the swatches as you can see oh Woo. what i noticed and my friend Agnes here on YouTube, she also did a review, but with the Dream Girl palette. She said that with the brush, you don't get as much of the color payoff as you want. You, you need to use your fingers, and I completely agree with her because I tried it. I tried on this look with the brush and I didn't get the color effect that I wanted. It, it does get a lot of the product and it does show on your eyes, but when I use my finger, I felt that it was more vibrant and if you want the shadows to stand out more definitely use a base under it or a primer or just a concealer just so that you can see the color pop even more whether you want to go for a more neutral look or fun look this palette is perfect so definitely pick it up it's just $24 so that was my overall review of the palette I extremely loved all the shadows they're so creamy so pigmented they're not chalky at all and I think that you guys will love it if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I will see you all in my next one bye